So here's problem number 81 from the 2012 AP Calc AB exam. This is a calculator question. A little application here. It's probably an application that you've seen a bunch of times if you've done a lot of practicing for your AP exam. It's, it's one where we're told water is pumped into a tank at a rate given by R of T. R of T is measured in gallons per minute. T is the number of minutes since the pump was turned on. If the tank contained 800 gallons of water when the pump was turned on, how much water to the nearest gallon is left in the tank after 20 minutes? So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to take the starting amount of water, which was 800 gallons, and we're going to have to add on how much water was pumped into the tank from time zero to time 20. So you see the 800, the starting amount of water, plus the amount that's added on. So what we're doing here is we're integrating the rate at which water is pumped into the tank across the interval from zero to 20 in order to determine the change in the amount of water from this time to this time. So whenever you integrate a rate of change, the result gives you the amount of change that has happened between those limits of integration. In this case, we're integrating the rate of change of the water entering the tank. Therefore, the value of this definite integral represents the amount of water that was pumped into the tank from minute zero to minute 20. I did a little unit analysis here. The units of R of T, uh, gallons per minute, those are the units of the function. This differential also has units attached to it. This differential is multiplying the function R of T. Uh, this has the same units as the independent variable has. The independent variable here is the input variable T. Well, T is being measured in minutes. So this is gallons per minute times minutes. That gives us units of gallons as the end result. I always like to look at units just to kind of you know, confirm that I've done the right calculation whenever I'm confident enough in, in being able to analyze them. It's just a, a nice little step that you can take to provide a, a little bit more uh, confidence or, or a check of your work. I could have done this integral by hand. This is an integral that can be done with a U substitution. That's going to take time. Lots of little opportunities to make mistakes through that process. Here's a place where since the calculator is in play, use it to your advantage. Now I had my TI-83 here, so this might not be the, the same thing that you would see on your calculator if you were to do this integral on your calculator. But if you go into the math menu, if you use the FNINT option, the integral option, I'm going to type in, actually, I, I didn't grab that first. I started with the 800 plus, and then I used the function integration option. I uh, typed in the integrand, right? So the function R of T, I did swap out the T's for X's comma, the variable that I wanted to integrate with respect to, comma, lower limit of integration, which is zero, comma, upper limit of integration, which was 20. And then I got my result. We're asked to measure this to the nearest gallon. So we can go ahead and ignore all that stuff after the decimal. Uh, you could have done this from the graph screen if that's how you're comfortable with it. Uh, you might have a TI-84 or a, a more updated operating system than my classroom set of calculators has and you have a little bit nicer input for it. But that's just the option from the math menu to do a definite integral uh, numerically on the calculator.